At the Raiders, there was very little mention of the Eagles who come into Oakland Sunday, but more about where does this team go from here? A record of one and four and plummeting offensively. And by the way, who was the last Raider quarterback with a 300-yard game? I'll have that answer later. Everyone knows we have a lot of talent, but talent alone isn't going to get it done. Collectively, they have had four straight games where they couldn't even manage 200 yards of total offense. Said Giants defensive captain Antonio Pierce Tuesday of the 44-7 win, playing the Raiders felt like a scrimmage, and there was no vibe of trying or effort. Tight end Zach Miller responded. Uh, we, we didn't play well, so, uh, um, you know, it's no wonder he said something like that. Quarterback Jamarcus Russell was unavailable to speak today, but one receiver did. What do you do after you lose? You know, what are you going to do? What are we going to do now? Are we going to fold? Are we going to stand up like men and go out here and attack this, attack this beast that we have in front of us? Statistically, this offense had better numbers under Lane Kiffin. Nothing new on the Tom Cable legal front. But the team did bring back free agent tackle Langston Walker, who was let go by the Bills earlier this season. And the last Raider quarterback with a 300-yard game, Dante Culpepper, 344, November 2007, against the Vikings. In Oakland, Vern Glenn, Cron for Sports.